G'day and welcome to another episode of Built by Dan. In today's episode, we're finally making a start on assembling the GT40. I'm going to start with assembling the pedal assembly, master cylinders, pedal box and the remote reservoirs for the brake and clutch. Now, before I start on the actual assembly of these components, I do need to make a cut in the footwell of the uh, chassis to allow these master cylinders to protrude through the wall of the footwell. Essentially, the wall is gonna sit about here. So we need to have a cutout that's gonna be big enough to fit them through and still allow us access to fit off hoses, tighten clamps, and all that sort of stuff. Um, the hard lines will fix into the ends or screw into the ends of those master cylinders. Okay, so there's the cutout that I've made in the footwell of the chassis to accommodate those master cylinders passing through. And I've just mocked up one of these little corner gussets or brackets for the suspension installation because that's basically what's going to limit where I can place that pedal box. So I installed that um, before I started marking up or measuring out where I wanted that cutout to be. And I've just reinstalled it now as part of my fit off of that pedal box and pedal assembly. So I'm going to start by just finishing fitting off this last seal to the master cylinder. Just need to take that rubber seal off just to allow this to pass over it. And I can put that rubber seal back onto the uh, master cylinder there. So that's all my master cylinders. I have two three quarter inch bore and I have a five eight inch bore. Now to fit these off, the master cylinders are fitted to the pedal, directly to the pedal assembly through these little studs. Just gonna put one on finger tight just at the top, just to hold it. Okay, so that's each of them on finger tight. I do just wanna start to get these pedals or pistons from the master cylinders threaded onto the um, these receiving nuts on the pedal. This will allow us to adjust where the pedal actually sits in its, I suppose, stationary position and also allows us to adjust the front and the rear bias, particularly for the brake pedal here. Do the same here for the clutch. Just needed a little bit more angle to allow it to feed in. Now they've got those top bolts of the master cylinders fitted off. I'll move on to the bottom bolts. Again, just doing all of these nuts up finger tight, just until we're sure that everything will be sitting in the right place. And that'll be dictated by, there are some, like I said earlier, some six millimeter bosses that will sit underneath the pedal assembly and support it off the floor. So now that that's all fitted off, I'm going to screw on 
this cover plate, which just determines how far off that back wall of the footwell the pedal assembly will sit. This is adjustable, so this can actually be cut down to any, any width or any length um, to suit your, your position or your seating position or your pedal position in the car to make it comfortable for the driver. I'm just going to leave it as is for now until I can get my seat and everything else set up in the car and confirm my final seating position and you know what feels comfortable in terms of my reach for the pedals. They're all screwing in nicely. Obviously my first attempt at tapping threads worked out all right. And that pedal assembly is now ready to be installed inside the footwell. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, now it's quite difficult to film or really show what I'm doing down in the footwell here, but I'm gonna try my best to capture it for you anyway. So here goes, temporary install of pedal assembly and pedal box. Okay, now apologies, it was a bit hard to see what was going on in there, but as you can see here, that pedal box is now mounted to the wall of the footwell and the floor. And now you can see in here why that it was so critical to have that corner bracket installed for the suspension. I did have to make a slight cut to that pedal box to make sure that it would fit. So now that that's installed, let's move on to those remote clutch and brake fluid reservoirs. Okay, so what I've been looking to do here is to try and transfer the center line of these two bolt holes up to the top here so that I can centrally mount my brake and clutch fluid reservoirs. So measured everything out. I did confirm that these two bolt holes were in fact centered. It's a bit off-putting because the center tunnel is actually offset to the passenger's side of the vehicle slightly. Now I'm going to drill out those holes to the right size to suit the mounting bolts. Now the drill bit was sliding around a bit when I was trying to drill those pilot holes so I want to bolt this bottom one in that I'm confident I've got pretty square and I'll then try and remark and just realign those top two holes uh, to suit the holes that are already pre-drilled in the bracket. With those holes now drilled, I'll put these bolts through and tighten them off. So there we have it. That's the bracket for the brake and clutch reservoirs fitted off. I'll clean that up and uh, the little reservoirs themselves, the stainless steel reservoirs, actually get pop riveted on through those two little holes either side of there. So the pin will pass through and then the two pop rivets will fit into there. And they'll just sit quite nicely there, easily accessible once you open the front clip. Okay, so there's all three reservoirs sitting on the bracket. I haven't pop riveted them off to fix them to the bracket yet, just so I can make sure that I can get into those fixings that sit behind there. They're a bit awkward to get to, to be able to undo and redo them up if I need to remove it. And I'm already planning to remove it pretty much straight away now that I've test fit it, because the next step will likely be fitting off the steering rack and there's some cutting and obviously I need to probably feed it through that main hole there. So just to give you a bit of an idea, you've got the nipples on the bottom of those reservoirs. The hose comes with the master cylinder kit. They haven't fitted off, but it will attach to the nipples here on the master cylinders as part of our final fit off. 
Not quite sure exactly how that will work. Like I said, I still need to work through the installation of the steering rack and that will probably likely determine uh, where those hoses will run, but they may well just sit here and be fixed with the bracket onto the front face of the steering rack bracket. Unfortunately, now that I've installed all that, I do need to uninstall it all again now. I've got a few cuts that I need to make and I just want to keep everything nice and clean. So as I indicated, the next step will be the steering rack. And I already know that these holes for the steering arms need to be cut out larger to be able to accommodate that. So whilst I'm doing all that work, I'd rather take all the other parts out to avoid any damage. So that's it for today's episode. Tune into next episode to see what's involved in installing that steering rack.